and gentlemen, and welcome to Scat Valley of Roleplay. I'm Mickey Sticky Flowers, and we're gonna go get in my van or my truck. We're gonna go do a delivery. We gotta go pick up a trailer. Go pick up a stack of beers for tomorrow so we can do the grand opening, you know. And so let's go uh, get this uh, trailer situated, stuff picked up and whatnot, you know. I just hope I don't get pulled over because I think I got pulled over a while ago. I'm not sure if they suspended it in every state, but they took my CEO away. It shouldn't be up for Scott Valley. I mean, I still got the card. I still got the CDO in my hand, but I'm not sure if it's still, like, registered. Because they said that they were going to take it away because they found the fucking drugs. And the, they grabbed the... I, I, I mean, allegedly grabbed the wrong trailer, you know? Fuck. That is New Georgia. I'm not going to worry about that. We're out of North Georgia, you know? You there to ask me, do you have any hordes out for your rest? Fuck. We're gonna continue things on even though they said I had a warrant or not. I mean, technically I should have a warrant from what we did in the last video, which you guys saw on my channel, so. That was the Mickey special. But yeah. Technically I should have a warrant up for my rest, but I think the cat was down, so they didn't have the time to put it in, but... I mean, they kind of... When they came up to me and asked me before I started recording, I kind of figured, yeah. I mean, I thought they was going to take me to jail, which I would have let them, then I probably would have recorded, but... Now that I allegedly might have a warrant up for my rest, or I don't know, because I haven't checked and I don't want to check. It's gonna ruin my immersion, you know, if I do or don't. Technically, I, I, I mean, technically I should, but technically I wouldn't know that I should. We just gotta go pick up a trailer. With all the beers that are loaded up in it and wait not. I gotta drive back. Take it out to my, uh, you know, my place where I uh, do my business. Gotta go behind here. Go grab my trailer. Pick it up back here. Hey, shit, where's the trailer, man? I'm gonna probably have to go talk to someone. But they said it should be back here, so. I'm just gonna, you know, park on up. Right here. I'm gonna go inside. I'm gonna talk to them and see where the trailer is. So I'll be right back. You just seen a bad little place, you know? got like two TVs in here, it's got like uh, a pool table, basketball machine, so you know, nice little waiting room they got, it just sucks, we gotta walk to like a locker room, it's gonna be kinda dumb in my opinion, but, yeah, oh wait, oh, it's done, you guys gotta load it up, oh shit, alright, let's go, alright, it's in the back, alright, it's got all the beers and shit in there for my bar tomorrow, right? Yeah, all right. Sounds good. It's kind of weird that you guys gotta walk through a locker room just to get to that. Why, why, why couldn't this be like the chill room? 
That'd be like the offices or whatever. And then you have the locker room. It's kind of weird. Not my business. I'm not going to tell you how to run it. Just like you ain't going to tell me how to run my bar. Understandable. Let's see. Oh, shit. It's all loaded up. The tags are good in the trailer, right? We're not sure. Oh, fuck. No. Alright, I was telling I got the trailer from this place. It's not my trailer. I need to throw my seatbelt on. Oh shit, alright, cool. It's got other beers? Alright. I don't mean. Wait, I didn't check the back. I'm just gonna listen to what these guys say. Oh shit, this is gonna be hard getting out of here. Well, if I scratch up that trailer, not my trailer. I don't really care. Not my truck I care about, man. I had to go to the impound lot to Georgia to go get this out. And they told me I shouldn't drive it. I mean, out there, I understand out there, but I'm not out in Georgia. I'm out in Scott Valley's now, so. Let's head back. Stock my bar back up, man. Zoom out of the camera for you guys. Then again, let's go in the interior. I'll show you what the interior looks like. And this is the interior, pretty standard. You'd think it would actually be like a W900 interior, but I think they just put the GTA interior in. I don't know why. That was kind of dumb. They would have put an actual, like, like the uh, fucking Peterbilt or whatever this is. To, the actual year and model it's just the older school models of the Peterbilts which I like I, I, I like the Peterbilts that have the, the circle lights up here those are my style I mean I like anything old school screw the new style cars I need old school cars man there's a few new cars in this generation I like don't get me wrong But those old school cars, they're just, they're, they're made better. Yeah, don't get me wrong, the newer ones are probably better for like winter time and whatnot. But yeah, I like the old school cars, man. Just like with the old school trucks. Head on down to my bar. Let's strap all this beer off, man. Hopefully, I don't get hassled by no cops, man. Yep, I'm getting pulled over right away, man. He's following me. He's probably gonna light me up. I see him in my river mirrors. He's gonna get me when I make this left. But I got no choice.
time is bar gonna be over? Hey, wait. Who said that? What's going on? Egg, I gotta go return this truck. When I come back, I'll reopen her back up. Alright, Sounds good. I got some weed. Alrighty, we do unload all the beer. They need to fix that fucking glitch with the cell phone, man. No one's fucking calling me. Shit, I need gas, man. Closer to your door than last time, you know. But it's probably right there, man. Alright. Dropped off their trailer. Let's get out of here, man. But before I do, let me go. Let me put my lug with that. I drop. GPS says, I believe. No, two, uh, yeah, 244. Let me just check my GPS to make sure that's correct. Yep, that GPS is correct. I gotta check the original map sometimes because this new GPS technology just doesn't work out like it should. Now I gotta head back to that junkyard and drop off my truck. And I'm, pay I'm paying some guy now ever since I went to Georgia and got it out. I'm paying him like 20 bucks a month to keep it stored there. It would be a hundred a month, but I'm letting him use it time to time. So now we just gotta go pick back up my car, you know? Maybe we can head back to the bar and open her back up. Have a good time, you know. Fact. This thing's still beauty. She still rides good. I thought the Georgia cops would have just like trashed her up, keeping her in that junkyard, getting all rusty. At least it ain't like that one fucking cop that burnt up my brother's fucking van, man. That was a that was a real dick move. It was a nice van too, and it came back all rusty and all burnt up. That was messed up, man. That's real messed up, man. Finally, they got traffic moving. Shit, fuck.
I know. Come on, do something, motherfucker. Come on. I know he wants to get me. He just doesn't know what for what. I think he's running my plate. Information. I mean, if he's doing it successfully, I'll come back. It doesn't register. He wanted to. He wanted to pull me over. He tried. Yeah, I got a buddy. I was gonna go to the last place, but he told me to drop it up at his house. He said he borrowed my car because he had to get home. He said it took too long. Normally he drives this thing. Alright, we dropped up the truck, let's get out of here, you know. Head back to the bar. Go open her back up, you know. Let's head back to the bar. Hopefully those bikers are there. I'll make some more money, man. That one give me a hundred bucks, man. It's crazy. Very crazy, man. Very, very crazy. I'm gonna go to Detroit for seven real quick, pick up pack of smokes for head back to the bar. Might as well. Get a little low on some smokes. Let's get my belt off. Shut the door. Slack her on up. What was that car doing over there, man? Jesus, these logos don't know how to drive. Fuck. Maybe I should have opened up my bar somewhere else. Fuck. Jesus. Crazy. Fuck. My car's gonna eventually. Something's gonna happen to it. Cars ain't meant to last like that, man. This ain't the demolition derby, bro. Back. Back. Let me go see where that bike's at. Try to fucking. 
kind of irritating, man. You know where I get some local bark to be sure they will manage to go I'm going. I see the other ones over here, fucking mean. Where the fuck is that bike coming from, bro? I hear it. Then I drive away, it's like by my bar somewhere. Literally, it sounds like it's at my bar, bro. What the fuck? They didn't put a bar upstairs in my house, did they? I mean, a bike upstairs in my house, did they? Yeah, it's like my fucking car. Let's go back there and check it out, man. There better not be a bike in my house. Unless it's at Trevor's house? Or Mona's house, I should say? I swear, if there's a bike up here in my house. It's not in here, is it? I could have swear I was in there. In my bar, I didn't see a bike. Better not be no... I swear to God, if there's a bike up here in my house. No, there's no bike up here. What the hell? That is weird. It's not inside in the bar, is it? I don't know where the bike's coming from. See, I don't hear it when I'm in here. The bike's not in here. What the hell? Keep my hearing the bike soon, man. Make me lose my mind. But. I need to get out of here for a while. This stuff's irritating. Where is it? Over here? Notice I walk this way, it gets quiet. It's literally sounding like it's coming at my bar, bro. Is there a bike upstairs on my roof? But if there is, that's crazy. I'm out of here, man. This is fat. It's a bullshit. It's annoying. Fucking seatbelt on Fuck. Let's go drive around. Maybe I go to that one bar. Yeah, I might go to that one bar. Go back, you know. Just to see what that bar is about, you know? Even though allegedly I'm kicked out. Allegedly. I'm gonna pay for my beers. I just wanna, you know. This bar is pretty empty. I'm not gonna come here. I know what her scam is. Charge much as much as she can for the beers. I don't like Sandra doing that bullshit anymore. Let's see what Deborah's doing. She can probably tell me, you're not that bank, you better not be in here. No, I don't care, man. I'm just trying, I mean, she doesn't know what I'm trying to do, but I know what I'm trying to do. I'm trying to figure out, you know, her, her tactics, you know, trying to figure out, you know, how she gets to people in her bar. Although I'm pretty sure she's never made a hundred dollar tip.
That's fine. If you don't need to make no hundred dollar tip, I need to make the hundred dollar tip. Fuck. Fuck. Range ridiculous, man. Let's go to, let's go to the bar up here, man. Get out of the car. Slap it up. Let's go in here and get a beer. Let's grab a drink. Hey, what's up, Brad? Hey, where's Deborah? Ah, uh, she's not here. I just take a beer. Yeah, here's five bucks. Twelve bucks for one of these? Damn! I do three for twelve at my bar. I'm losing money. Nah, nah, I'm not losing money. Nah. I think you guys are losing money. They're literally charging 12 bucks for one beer. You guys are losing. Oh, yeah, I guess you're mad. Me, me, I'm not losing money. No, you, you guys, no, there's no way you get. No one comes in. Why is this bar empty right now? Yeah, because no one wants to come pay the fucking $12. What's that? You, you, you got to go to the clock out? Well, who's clocking in? Well, I'll find out. Oh, shit. Deborah, what the fuck you doing here? Where's Matt? He clocked out. What do you mean he clocked out? Where I get this beer? From? I paid for it. Yep, he put it in the register and everything. Yep, I paid for it. He sold it to me. I'm kicked out from here. What do you mean I'm kicked out from here? I I paid the last time. Yeah, I put the money down. You what? Well, you didn't take it. That's on you. You left it there. That's on you. I drank the beers. You didn't want the money for the beers. That's your problem. That means the bears are free then, so where's the fuck my money at? That's fucked up. Give me my fucking money, man. Fucking sit there and fucking play me and take my money for free beers and you fucking call the cops. That's fucking bullshit, man. Yeah, I wouldn't do that at my bar. What do you mean you would never come to my bar? That's fucked up. I got the cheapest beers in town. Fucking asshole. I had to say a good beer. A good paid beer that I paid for. Just like the last ones I paid for. Not free. They should have been free. But they weren't free, fucking asshole. Yeah, I'm just gonna keep drinking my beers. Fuck off. Maybe I'll play some pool. Play some pool, drink some beers. It's the life. I remember when my when I was when my kid was younger, he used to watch like uh, the the Disney. Anyway, he used to watch the. The network and the Isney and the tune. Oh, there's a tune of Lodian or whatever. But I remember when the shows used to watch, it was like, uh. The sweet. The, the, the sweeter lives of Max and Dax or something like that. And, and uh, they should make a TV show of, uh. The hippie life of. I mean, <clears throat> that's profiling, but. <clears throat> yeah. If, if they called us hippies, I'd say, you put, yeah, it's profiling, that's just a TV show name, but, yeah, the hippies of, uh, the sweet, uh, the sweet life of the hippies, Mickey and Dickie, or Dickie and Mickey, or Mickey and Dickie, I mean, I would put Ricky in there, but I haven't seen him in a while, I think he's a cop now, I'm not 100% sure, but I believe he's a cop, and he, he, he came and claimed he wasn't Ricky, but, I thought there was Ricky and he came back and I got arrested. So maybe he's working with the cops. That's fucked up. Fucking bullshit, man. 
fucking bullshit. Fuck. Just go stand outside, man. It's getting a little class. Well, not classified. It's just getting a little hot in there. You like the doors? Oh, he, oh hell no. Ruin her fucking bar. Fuck that. Yeah, I think she bolted those fucking tables down. That's fine. Fucking kick those fucking chairs. Fuck. Fuck. Let me in. You can't kick me out. That's bullshit. I paid for my beers. Now yeah, let me in. Yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna knock your furniture down. Yeah, I paid for my beers. Hey, what's going on? I got locked out, man. You got locked out? Yeah. Uh, There's a guy, a local bartender named Matt. He sold me a beer, but then he clocked out. Deborah came in, and she told me that I was banned from the last time she called the cops. I said, that's BS. I paid for a beer, and I walked outside. She locked the doors on me, man. All right. You got you got an ID on you? Yeah. Uh, here, hold on. Yeah, it's Mickey Flowers, man. All right, Mr. Flowers. If you just sit tight here, I'm going to go talk to her real quick and see what's going on. All righty. Yeah, she's going to unlock the door for you. It's the state patrol. I need to talk to you. She better... Oh, she oh. Ah, uh, ah, uh, real nice. She likes to do her. Bullcrap. Ridiculous. Ridiculous, man. Fuck. 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 
Hey, Mr. Flowers. Hey, what's going on, man? Are you aware of your trespass from this establishment? I shouldn't be. I mean, I paid for my bears last time I was here. She said last time you were here, uh, you had spit on her, you didn't pay for your beers, and then you were trespassed by the police. Well, see, the thing is, is I came back last time. I guess this lady used to be in a different state I used to live in. She opened a bar here, and I guess she remembers me, so she kicked me out of this bar. But I was putting the money down on the table. She wasn't accepting it. So I was grabbing the beers, but the money was there. She didn't take it. That's on her. So I guess she was giving me free beers, and I did spit on her. I apologized for that, but then she kicked me out. Then the cops searched me, and they found a gun on me. Yeah, that's exactly what I heard from her. Did the police physically tell you you were trespassed from this property? No, I was not physically told I was trespassed by the cops. That's why I came back. Okay, well, at this time, I am telling you that you are trespassed from the property. If you come back, you will be arrested, all right? Ah, uh, damn. I mean, I was paying for my bear stab. Mac guy that was here, he was letting me do it. All right, well, he may, he may not have known of yours and the owner's past history, but she doesn't want you here. She asked me to trespass you. Uh, all right, man. So I gotta leave? Uh, yeah, do you have any weapons on you by chance? I mean, no, I don't. I mean, not after the last time, because I'm not trying to go back to jail. All right. I'm not going to hassle you any longer. You've been pretty nice to me, and it doesn't sound like you had done anything too wrong you guys just have some past history together yeah so we, we have plenty of past you. history yeah i'm gonna just trespass you today and, and you're good to go all righty i'm gonna stay here i'm gonna stay here in my squad car and leave all righty i'll get out of here fuck i swear to god if i see her on the streets i swear to god i'm gonna kill her I swear to God, I see her on the streets, I'm gonna fucking kill her. I see her on the streets, she's dead. I swear to God. Kick me out of her bar. What does she think she is, man? I was paying for my beers. That mad guy took my beers. It's BS, man. BS. I see her on the streets, I swear I'm gonna pull this 9mm out that's in my back pocket. And I'm gonna shoot her. Buddy, right here. Hey, man, what's going on? Yeah, yeah, it's Mickey, man. Uh, yeah, I, I, I'm the, I'm the one that's got that new bar. Yeah, you guys are welcome to come anytime. All people at Coachella are welcome. Heck, people at Coachella. I mean, I'm normally doing like five percent discounts and ten percent for the army, but shit, I'll give you guys a ten percent like the army because you guys are from Coachella, man. But yeah, uh, I need to borrow, uh, I need, uh, I need a beer, beer bottles, um, I need, uh, some, some gas, you know, oh yeah, and I need, uh, and some rags, you know. Yeah, I, I got a, I got a little bar to take care of. Kick me out of bar. All right, thanks, man. Ah, shit, man, it's probably a seatbelt on. Keep been saying I'm gonna click, cut all those dingers out, but I just I just forget, man. Fuck. I should have turned the other way. Yeah, let's go this way. I'm going back to that bar. It looks like another bar I'm gonna have to run out of town. This time I ain't got no help from Dickie, man. Where you at, man? Where you at, Dickie? It's probably at his new house. I should went over there to see if he was home. But nah, I ain't got time. I just gotta worry about this bar. But hopefully there's not a cop there. I'm gonna have to check. Cause I'm not. I don't want to pull in if there's a cop there. You know.
Right. Get out here, smoke a cigarette. What the fuck are you doing out here? I'm not on your property. No. What? Yeah, my phone went off. You got a problem with that? Yeah, I got friends. You don't. Yeah, it's because you probably kicked people out of your bar. You used to kick me out when I was paying my beers. Well, your friends came and started paying beers, and you just kicked them out, fucking asshole. Fuck you, no. Now, you, you, you suck a fat one. That's probably what you're good at, getting on your knees, Deborah. I'm not at your property. No, you ain't gonna call the cops. No, you call the cops, I'm gonna... Uh, you're gonna burn my bar down. I'm gonna burn your bar down. Yeah, I, I got the stuff right back here in the car. I'll do it right now. Oh, you, you're threatening me? Gonna get a gun. You ain't got a gun. Oh, you got a shotgun? Pull the trigger. You ain't gonna pull the trigger. Alright, bet. You know what? Fuck you. I ain't even gonna burn your bar. I was gonna burn your bar down, but now I'm not gonna burn it down. I'm, I'm gonna wait. I'm gonna get some help. I'm gonna get some help. You just fucking wait. You just fucking wait. I'm, I'm gonna get my cell phone out. Yeah, what's going on, man? What's up? What's up, Tuco? Yeah, I got, I got, I got this bitch here named Deborah. She kicked me out of her bar, but the guy named Matt. He, he, he let, he let me come to the bar. I bought some, be I bought like a beer or two. He, 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 he took my money, put it in the register, then he said he had to clock out. Yeah, so then he went to go clock out, you know, yeah, this bitch back here, she's standing out there, I see her. I see her, I'm looking at the corner of my eyes, I see her there. Yeah, she's standing there, and she told me that she's gonna burn my bar down. She said, the reason why Dickie's name is Dickie, because he's a dick, and he'll never amount to anything in life because he's so small. I said, that's messed up. you never even seen his downstairs package. You can't talk shit, but I'm like, that's fucked up. And I don't even know what his downstairs package, but I'm pretty sure that it's not small. I mean, just because his name's Sticky doesn't, you, you can't assume that he's got, a, that's fucked up, right? Yeah, and then she, then she was talking shit that he, he, he's a, he's a low life just like me. We're hippies. Looks like that we're all gonna amount to nothing and the bar's gonna be closed down in less than a month. And then I told everybody, I, yeah, we're just fighting. Nobody's not, I got, I got a hundred dollar tip today. I do good service. So, talking about like how my bar's gonna close down and whatnot. And then like, and then this lady over here is talking talk crap about me, and then she just said she's got a shotgun. She was gonna shoot me. I told her to do it, but she wasn't gonna do it. And no, oh, it's, it's it's a lot of it's a lot of bull crap, you know. And then and then she's she's sitting there talking about she's gonna get like beers, gas, and then, like you know like rags and whatnot, and some other things that make the, like the 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 uh, like the ignition. They have like a uh, you know none other than like. My bar yet trying to fire go kabooey, kaboom, poof, like the poof, you know, like when you hear it, when you t turn on a big flame, like at a bonfire, you pour gasoline, and you light it up, and you hear the poof, and the flame, and she said that's gonna be my bar. Yeah, it's, fuck, it's fucked up, right? Yeah, fuck, fuck that bitch. If I could, yeah, so I need you to call Dickie, man. I need, to, I need you to tell her all the bull crap, saying that. His name's Dicky because he's a dick and he's got a small pack. He, she doesn't. She doesn't even know that about it unless they've done some things in the past and he's never told me. But I mean, he he's been around the block a few times. I I, I, I wouldn't put it to him. I mean, but yeah, still that, that's that's ignorant. That's rude. You don't you, you don't try to down a man by talking about his private parts. Like, shit, I got to down her so that her dicks. Well, as a matter of fact. Yo, bitch, yeah, you talk about my brother, yeah, guess what, your tits are so low, that, <laughs> who the fuck would want to fuck you, man, because, you're, you're, uh, it's, it's been years since I've made it, like, jokes, but uh, she knows where I'm coming from, I'm just kind of upset, I'm not, I'm not thinking straight right now, I'm not, I'm not high, like I normally am, I'm kind of sober, I've been clean for a few weeks, I mean, uh, after, after me and Dickie got out for burning that last bar, but, but, and, and I thought the cops were looking for me earlier, but I mean, technically, I don't. I, I should have a warrant, but apparently, I don't. So, 
I mean, that's just that's just to say I broke a law and I got away with it type deal, you know? Yeah, but yeah. called Dicky, tell Dicky she talked shit about him. She said he, his name's Dicky because he's a dick. His downstairs is really small, and I want you to talk about like uh, some like some other shit that she she said. I was send you text messages about it, but she said she she basically is saying a lot of vulgar words to me. Uh, she's still back. Here, yeah, shut up, bitch. Yeah, I'm trying to talk on the phone. Yeah, she, and she's over there holding that fucking shotgun, acting like she's a bat. And I see her over there, that fucking loco, fucking Deborah. Yeah, I fucking like that mad guy that was there. He didn't kick me out, but she she clocked and kicked me out. Call the cops, yeah. So call him. I'm gonna send you a text message of all the stuff that she sent. I'm gonna go back to my bar. I'm gonna just go to sleep for the night, you know. Call today and whatnot. I was out here all night stalking the hell out of her. I'm just call her today. Go home and I'm gonna come back and I'm gonna I'm gonna set this place on fire. Don't worry. Don't worry, I'll have help too. Fucking bitch. Alright, thank, thanks, Tuco. Yeah. Hey, tell Paco I said hi, man. Hey, it's been a while since I heard from Paco. Tell Paco I said hi. Alright. Hey, give Dickie a call. Uh, I'll see you guys uh, whenever you call me back and you tell him that he's on his way and he's gonna come meet me back up. I mean, I was gonna stop by by his house, but he could be sleeping or something. I don't want to disturb him. I'd be ignorant. Just like him stopping at my house, waking me up. I mean, if it's important, understandable. I mean, this isn't important, but I understand he, he he's he, he's trying to like sober up and whatnot. And I guess him being at home, he's not here wanting to go buy the drugs or whatever. I, I get where I I understood. He talked to me about it. He's trying to sober up. I mean, I gave him a job at my bar, and we're trying to stay clean. I mean. I can't guarantee you that we're not gonna go back to jail time to time like when we burnt that one bar down. I mean, we're gonna probably go to jail for burning this one down. Hopefully we don't, but yeah, she definitely deserves it. She definitely, you know, needs to be out of town. This bar shouldn't be here. It's all about my bar, but yeah. I mean, if I could buy this bar in the future, heck, I would let Dickie run this one. I run that one, and time to time we swap off from bar to bar, and sometimes I help him run this one, so that, and, but yeah, that's... I don't know, I don't even think I want to buy this one, because there's, like, guns and shit back there. And I told the cops, like, the last time I, I told them, and they said, no, we're not searching, and they, they called for you, you didn't call for them. And that's messed up, and I was told even if I did call for them, they probably wouldn't search, because, you know, their business. So I don't want to buy this building with all that shit in there, and, and, and then me, get, you know, get in trouble or whatnot. Saying that those guns are mine because I bought the building, and, and then Dickie would be the owner. Because, I, I mean, I don't, I can't run two bars by myself. I need someone else. To, and if he's running this one, I guarantee you they're not going to take those guns out. They're going to leave them. Then they're going to try to say, oh, guess what? Yeah, he's got, he's got guns back there. And then the cops will probably listen to Deborah, and then they'll search. Yeah, yeah. They'll just tell Dickie everything. I'm going to text you. I'm just going to go home go to sleep. Yeah, I appreciate it. Yeah, she's getting what she's... Yeah, you hear that? You're getting what you deserve, you fucking bitch. Yeah, fuck off. All right, later, man. Tell Paco I said hi, Tuco. All right, later, man. Yeah. You got that shotgun? Do you know what I got? Guess what? Guess what I, I got? Right here. Use it for you, Deborah. Right there. Yeah. Fuck you. Fuck you. Yeah, walk inside. That's alright. That's alright. Tuco's gonna get a hold of Paco, and Paco's gonna get a hold of another than Dicky, and then Dicky's gonna get a hold of me, and he's gonna be upset hearing the shit that she said about him. Can't talk about it. She said some other stuff too. I'm gonna send him a text when I get home. Yeah, but she, she she said some other stuff too. And yeah, it's messed up that she said all that stuff about him, calling him a low life, saying his package is small. His name's Dicky because he's a dick. You know he's got a small package. Like, come on, man. And then she was talking about we're low lives, saying that we're drug addicts, saying my bar is not gonna last a month. It totally fucked up of her. That's yeah, okay. She's gonna get what she deserves. She's definitely going to get what she deserves. Shit. Still hear that bike. I don't think I'm going to get some good sleep. You know what? 
I'm gonna go sleep at Dickie's house tonight, cause that, I don't know where that bike's at, man. It's, it's annoying. It's fucking irritating me, man. He's gonna go back to my house, I mean. Dickie may be sleeping, I'm just gonna be quiet, go sleep on his couch. Oh shit, I need some gas. Yeah, I'm just gonna go get some gas. I know I, I, I hit the gauge. And it's back to like almost a full tank. I think it was like deceiving me, you know? I'm out of here. I gotta, I, I gotta get to Dickie's house, man. Motherfucker hit his brakes on me. Fuck. Oh, no hezzy right there. No hezzy. Oh, shit. Hopefully no cops saw where I went. Get out. I do the seatbelt, motherfucker. Shit, I gotta be quiet. He could be sleeping. Fuck. Shit, fuck. Oh shit, I think that's his bedroom. Oh shit, yeah. He's sleeping. Shh. I don't wanna wake him up. Fuck. Shit. I don't think he's got a couch in here for me to sleep on. Are you fucking serious, bro? Ah, shit. Let's check outside. Ah, shit. Fuck. Yeah. Just leave that on the counter right there. Fuck. Shit. Fuck. Yeah. I guess I'm just gonna sleep on the floor, man. Fuck. I wish it was like my house and he had a cat, uh, some couches I could sleep on. Let's fall asleep right here, I guess. Alright. Fuck.
I'm just gonna pass out here. I gotta, I gotta be quiet. So, uh, uh, there you have it, ladies and gentlemen. I stacked up with some more bar stuff. I put some weed in the bar because, obviously, for the non cops, uh, we're gonna be making like some THC drinks. But other than that, I mean, no one really knows about what we're gonna do, and when we do make those drinks. We're gonna, we're, we got something patented that uh, Paco and Tuco had been working on for us. It's gonna be like, where well, we pour the beer into like this container. And then basically, like, uh, you know, like, it seals it, and we're gonna seal it. And after we seal it and whatnot, like, it's kind of like a two liter or something like when you open it you hear the, like the cracking you hear it like the fizz go like that you know it's basically like it's kind of like that mean but uh, yeah and then we'll give it to them they'll leave the bar because it's basically a to-go drink but you can't drink it in the car because there's no straws or anything you physically got to open it like a like a pop tap or something it's sealed and it's got like kind of like you know uh like if you ever been to a grocery store, and, you, and I, I wander to a back even though I don't work there, but you know like they and, and like on the doors they got like a little tag, and when you break it off it knows that y y it's been used. So basically when you do that it's it kind of like, like a tab like that. Plus it's got the seal to keep it like where it doesn't spill and all that. So yeah, but no one's gonna know about that. But when they when they do find about that and they're not cops and they do and it's the people we will sell them drink but when they leave they walk out of the bar so what they do with that drink is what they do with that drink and then we'll walk away from the bar which will probably be at Mona's trailer I think that'd be the best spot to do it at and then at Mona's trailer there will be magically like the little mixture of the THC liquid that you put in your drink they'll just be sitting there but we're gonna have to be smart about it and wear gloves so that way it doesn't come back to the bar so I'm trying to keep the bar clean man but yeah other than that I'm gonna, I'm gonna go pass out I'm getting, a little, I'm getting a little tired but don't forget to like comment share subscribe and don't forget to follow me my fireflies and I will see you next time here at Firefly Gaming Run <laughs>